we're going to learn about abstract art. Abstract art is really fun. It is when an artist takes lines and shapes and puts a work of art together that our brain can't really think of in identifying. It's not a work of art that looks like an animal or a person or a still life or a tree. It is just a bunch of shapes, lines, and colors kind of put together in a design that's pleasing to the artist and sometimes the viewer. We're gonna look at a bunch of different artists and artworks and we're gonna create our very own abstract art today. There are so many abstract art artists out there and I'm gonna introduce you to a few today. Some of our older students will look down below at Victor Vassarelli and he was what was considered op art. So even though if you look at these cubes, he would take like mathematical shapes that you learn about cubes and spheres and cones. And even though the paper is flat, when you go to see his artwork, it looks as if it is 3D by the way that he drew it. And it kind of plays tricks on your eyes. Jackson Pollock, was an amazing abstract artist, artist, but he went one step further and he was kind of what we call the father of action painting. So you would actually envision him creating this work of art. He would put it on the floor and splatter paint everywhere and get really physically involved in his artwork. Vasily Kandinsky was an abstract artist that used shapes and lines and he connected music with his art. Vas Vasily Kandinsky was fascinated with music and art and almost being an inventor for the abstract movement. He really took lines, shapes, and the connections of what music made him feel into an amazing amount of abstract paintings that he left us today to study. Today in art, we are gonna use circles and lines to make this abstract art design that you see. The circles we're gonna talk about are called concentric circles. And these are circles that repeat around each other and share the same center point. We're also gonna be introduced to artist Sonia Dulain. Today in art, we are gonna make abstract art and we're going to need some circles to, sh to trace with. So let's get our materials out. You'll want a ruler for these straight lines, a pencil, and you can color with markers, crayons, color pencils. If you have paint, awesome. If you don't, I am gonna show you today a painting technique with washable Crayola markers. So grab those, a cup of water and a brush, and then some circles that you might have on containers or Tupperware in different sizes. And get all your materials ready and let's get started. So I have my white piece of paper here and I'm going to begin by tracing a bunch of different circles. And we want our circles to be concentric circles. So I grabbed a couple of circles um, that are different sizes and I'm gonna start with my biggest circle. I'm just going to trace that with my pencil and then I'm going to put one in that's a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. So when I trace a circle, I have to hold it down tight with my hand and notice how my hand lifts up to complete the whole circle in pencil. If you're younger, learning how to trace a circle takes some time. Our goal is again, to trace a bunch of circles on our paper, have bigger circles, medium-sized circles, and little circles. When this circle shape repeats, it's called a concentric circle.
Okay, so I had a lot of fun tracing my circles. You can see some of my circles were cropped, which means they come off of the paper. Some have lots of concentric circles and some don't have any. That's okay. Now we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna wanna think of the center point of the circle where it would be equal on both sides and divide that circle in half, separate it in half. And I wanna go all the way across my paper. So I'm just gonna take a ruler, draw a straight line in the middle of my circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. I can do it to a different set of circles. And it stopped right there. Now that I've done one, two, three straight lines anywhere in the middle of my circles, I am going to get my markers and I'm going to outline in some fun colors. So I really want to have a nice, thick marker line. And you don't have to do the whole circle. You can do just half of it. So that one will be purple, that will be purple. This outer one is a whole. So I'm just kind of going around my paper and finding balanced areas that I think would look good in purple. A half circle in orange. A half circle in orange. Now if you don't want to use markers, you can use crayons, colored pencils. You just want to think about coloring in different sections, getting a large variety of colors, and finding a design that looks pleasing to you. Remember, abstract art is colors and lines put together and what you view as an interesting design. They don't represent, abstract art doesn't represent one specific thing. It's not easily identified. Like this is a dog, this is a cat, this is a person. Okay, so now I have most of my circles already traced. I want to think of the sections behind it and what colors I want that to be. So, for example, I don't have any purple touching. It's green and blue, so I'm going to outline this section. So if you're doing it in marker with me, this is going to be um, a technique for painting. So it's good to outline these sections so we can get them painted. So that was kind of confusing to you to outline those sections. Maybe just kind of watch along with me and um, you'll see 
our painting technique. Now that I have all my circles outlined, I'm gonna take my brush and get it wet and just trace over the marker. Washable markers are just that, they're washable. So if we have water and we go over the marker, that purple is going to leak out and make a light purple. This also matters on the type of paper that you have. If you're using really light um, printer paper, it might leak through. Um, it might tear if you get it too wet. I am just teaching you a new technique for those of you at home that might not have paint and you want to experiment with painting, you can experiment with washable markers. If you have washable watercolor paint, go ahead and paint it. Or crayons, markers, color pencils, that's what's so great about art is there's so many different materials you can use to color with. Now as I get this wet, over time what's happening the colors are starting to bleed. Not bleed like a cut, but that wet area is going to pull the ink color of the red, of the green, the blue, and you can see it kind of starting over here. And it's gonna just give it kind of this watercolor look, like paint. So I am using just basic construction paper that I have in the color white. Again, if you're noticing that the printer paper is tearing or maybe not great, then you might want to start over and that's okay. We're experimenting with a new technique and new materials. And sometimes that doesn't always turn out perfect, but it can be kind of fun. That's what's great about abstract art, is it can be very process-based. I had a video that I was showing about Jackson Pollock, and his was a lot in the action of actually creating it. So my paper is all wet, and this is gonna take some time to dry and let the colors kind of seep in. When it does dry, I want you to come back to it and take a black marker and go back and outline some of your circles and some of your lines so you get this bold, um, abstract design. Okay, when you're finished with it, take a picture and send it to me. I'm so excited to see your finished artwork. Ah!